The more I look at this sonar, the more excited I get. This is... <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? God, you could stick your hand in the water and grab a fish right now. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic, everybody. Today we're gonna get out and try and catch some lobsters once again because we caught a few in the last episode, but definitely not enough to be excited about. So yeah, what I'm gonna do right now, um, I checked the wiki here, and lobster is best caught from April to July. We are currently in September, so we are trying to fish for lobster at quite possibly one of the worst times to do so. So I'm gonna go to like April, May territory, and uh, try and actually catch them when they're in season. I feel like we should have a lot of a better chance there, and we also might be able to get some tips from the ports at where exactly they are, because right now, I'm just throwing down lines and hoping for the best. Generally not the way you want to fish. You need some sort of intel, whether it be your own or help from friends to know where they are. So we're going to skip weeks at a time until we get to good old May here. Whoa, 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 whoa. My bow sustained heavy damage. What the hell? From sitting here? Oh, you bastard. Maybe I should have docked first? Can I, I problem is I can't explore my boat when I dock, which is the dumbest idea ever. So... I'm assuming boats take durability losses throughout time. So, oh my god. So, 74,000? Oh, no. All right, big brain moves. We're going to move away from the sidewall in case I was bashing off that throughout the weeks. And I got in my little Mickey here. So, if we sink this, I don't really care. I just want to pass time, damn it. You know, doing this in the uh, middle of the ocean might not be the best idea, especially with the smallest boat. But I haven't sunk yet. We got close, though, as you can see, it's snowing today. Uh, I think we're in, like, January or something like that at this point. Yep, January. Oh, uh, my boat sustained heavy damage. Well, let's keep going anyways. What's the worst that could happen? I die? Actually, that's a good point. We should probably save. <laughs> uh, oh. Great, my boat's sinking. I should probably call rescue services. Well, that worked out perfectly because it is now April. So my boat last, it's not actually sinking though. Like what happens if, all right, for science, let's, let's save the career once again. <laughs> Can we actually sink in this game? That's really just what I wanna know. And, it, and it's good to test this now when we're not actually sinking. So it takes weeks to sink a boat. Um, and I don't even know if they actually sink. Can I, can I still drive it? Your boat is out of feel. Well, I guess we'll never know. We are we are truly stranded right now, so that's fantastic. Uh, okay. We should probably call for help. I was was that a wave, or are we just actually slowly sinking? I think we're actually slowly sinking. So that's fantastic. Oh, oh, we 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 are not slowly sinking. We are actually sinking. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? Um, your boat is destroyed. You need to pay eight thousand to be towed back. Ah, uh, whoops. Well, at least we confirmed we cannot die. If you actually start sinking, you just gotta pay 8,000 to be towed back. I'm assuming it's more depending on how far you are. Well, that's fun. Well, it's official. Mickey has sunk. It's not even on my list anymore. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to buy that again because it was my first boat. Oh, my lobster tutorial's back. Great. I don't need that anymore. But yes, now we are finally in lobster season, so hopefully we can actually uh, get a decent amount today. And that was harder than it seems to just pass time in this game. I'm surprised there's not like a hotel in here or something that you can pass time at. Anyways, let's check out the bar. No tips! Well, at least we got a delivery mission so we can go see if that area has any tips. Yes! I did it! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell, but um, this was really hard. Getting lobster intel is is clearly extremely freaking hard in this game. So I had to ch check every port. No lobster intel. I waited a week and I checked them all again and the final one got me one. That's why I'm a little excited right now. I thought freaking lobsters didn't exist in this game or something like that. Anyways, we now have lobster intel. We know kind of where they are. We can go get them hopefully and do this right. The uh, irony is this is the lobster area I put seven months ago. This is the one we just got. So, am I just a master at finding these things? Because I'm pretty damn close. 
gross. All right, so let's clean this up, though. And yeah, at least we know there's some lobsters around here. So we're gonna drop our pots right around there and see what happens. All right, Michael, since you're so freaking slow, let me help you out, buddy. I don't know how this takes you so long, but we are going to do this. All right, and there they go. He is just automatic on this. I didn't even tell him to do it. So you can see with my um, depth meter here, yeah, they're kind of buggy when you fast travel. They kind of just load up all the fish at once, so I have no idea what we're on, if I'm honest. Hopefully it's this much, though. If there's this much fish here, that would be fantastic. Okay, already ran out of bait. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. We're clearly baiting these pots quite well, at least. But, uh, yeah, third line's out, so strategy right now is to just kind of go around the perimeter of where that lobster was found. I'm just going to kind of wrap around for this first soak and then see kind of the direction that the lobsters are going. Obviously, one of these should hopefully have a lot more than the others. I don't know. We'll find out if that's true or not. Get off! I can't fast travel if you're stuck on! Oh, this- there we go. <laughs> it wasn't letting me fast travel. That was great. Okay, there we go. Our final one. And then we got 60 pots in these waters, and the more I look at this sonar, the more excited I get. This is... <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? God, you can stick your hand in the water and grab a fish right now. All right, but there we go. All 60 pots are indeed in. I think this is a really good lay down here to kind of see where they're going. So I'm excited to see what we're going to pull out of the ocean today. Okay, we're in the blue. Looks to be snowing out right now. So a little cold out on the North Atlantic. And uh, yeah, let's see what we're working with today. So we are going to get, um, is it Michael who's good? I think it's Graham who's good at sorting crabs. Well, good's arguable. Actually, yeah, it's Michael that's slightly better. So we're gonna get him to sort the crabs. We're gonna get Graham to pot haul. And yeah, that's it. I guess we really only need two crew members for this. It doesn't make sense to have three. I'm just giving away a percentage of my yield right now. Anyways, let's get the, the first one in here and see how we do. I will say there's something about this boat that makes it way easier to haul pots. So the other boat, it was just so hard to maneuver, probably because it was so top heavy, the thick chunk that is. So it's kind of nice driving this boat. As a captain, it makes my life way easier. All right, let's 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 go see what these pots look like, though. I'm curious. Um, there's at least crabs in it. Sorry, lobsters. Um, uh, four or five little guys, though. That's the unfortunate part. I don't know if those are keepers or not. We only got one keeper there so far. I'm a little worried now. What's this one looking like? I mean, there's there's lobsters in there. They don't look very big, though. Okay, literally we had one keeper in that first pot. I'm nervous. Are we on the juveniles? We can't keep those. Oh, God. And two in the second pot. Well, I guess that's better than one, but this is bad, guys. This is this is not good. Where are the big guys? Okay, I'm hearing more c coming in this time. That That's a better pot. Okay, thank God. I can actually help out now. So it measures from the eyes to where the tail starts. Um, okay, so... Looking at this, it's looking... Is the tail... Yeah, unfortunately, I think this is too small. I was hoping to help out because this guy takes forever. I don't want to get rid of the... This is so close, it's hard to tell. But I don't think this lobster's good. I also don't know how to drop said lobster. Oh, it's, it, it's, it's gone now. I don't know where it went, but it's gone. All right, there's the final few. Let me... You know what? I just, I just want to do it anyways. God damn it, it's another close one. I think it's too small. I just, I don't know how to get rid of you, man. All right, 502 kgs of fish were successfully caught. I don't know if a lobster's a fish, but I guess in this regard it is. That's, from what I remember, a hell of a lot better than our, our last catches, so that's exciting. No fish were caught. Well, that's not exciting. Clearly, they did not go this way. Well, at least we got lobsters this time. That's exciting. So, yep, on number three now. We'll see what happens here. I'm a little worried, though, because it takes so long to br bring these things up. These have been soaking for a while, as you can see. So hopefully we don't over-soak the end of my uh, run here. All right, I'm hearing them dropping in like crazy this time. This is exciting. I'm going to help out here. Is that within? It's so freaking close. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to say it. Screw it. Worst case, I have to pay. I just need to help this guy out. I'm getting worried that we're gonna over-soak here. Okay, that's definitely too small. That's easy to tell. How do I freak do I get rid of them, though? Oh, yeah, the, these are good pots. This is exciting. Open that thing up, man. Let's let's look at this. Look it! It's packed to the brim! Okay, that's looking good to me. Oh, God, I'm, I, hope I, I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, 
yeah, these are all within regulation. Oh, this is fantastic. We're, we're, we hit the mother load here. Okay, this one took forever to sort. It's got to be bigger than our original. Let's see what happens here. We just got to get rid of that pot. Is he still doing something? Holy Jesus. 1,772 kgs. That's the kind of line that I like to see. Now we're actually on the freaking lobster. Okay, well, we're going to turn this over to... I guess I got to drag another one on. Um, clearly, they're probably going this way now. But yeah, we'll check pot four and five and uh, see how they are as well. Oh my god, this is exciting. I'm actually on the lobster. I was worried we'd, we'd, we'd never find these elusive bastards. Holy Jesus. And that line had 2,000 kgs. So... Well, I guess the lobsters are everywhere around here. Um, unfortunately, these are taking so long now. These are green, so it's going to be hard to gauge as compared to these two how these do. Um, because they've soaked for too long, unfortunately, now. So I'm just going to go grab six. Just because that one's closer and I need to grab these as quickly as possible at this point. Okay, unfortunately, a lot of small guys here. A lot of guys that are so close. I, I've also figured out how to... Yeet the lobsters back into the ocean. You just gotta look up into the sky. Um, how did we do? I really wish it told me if I was standing out here, but that's fine. So yeah, 1,136. Gotta remember I was over soaking there though, but I'm thinking the lobsters are definitely going this way. Okay, and what's the damage on the final line? 1,315. So even like around here is going to be pretty good. Pretty much anywhere here. We're gonna be on lobster, so that's exciting. I was worried they were gonna be in really tight areas where, you know, if you're not directly on them, you're not going to be on them. It's nice to see that it seems like all around here is pretty decent yields. Now, that being said, uh, I don't actually know how much we earned today, so let's check out the lobster prices and uh, see where, where we should go. All right, looks like Ingle's head has the largest price at $31.93. Uh, which looks to be almost 100% yield, so, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna complain with that. Let's head over to Ingle. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a ways away, but I think it's worth the, uh, the travel when we're earning probably a decent amount of money. I didn't actually look at how much we have in the boat, but it's gotta be close to full. Yes, yeah, about 7,000 kgs worth of fish, so, yeah, we're gonna sell those things, and there we go! Now we're into- that's- that's odd how it's exactly 250,000. But yeah, exactly 250,000 in one run of the lobster catching. Um, I don't know, honestly, if longline or lobster is going to be better. Obviously, that was our biggest payday yet. But what you don't see is how long it takes to grab those lobsters. It is a ridiculous amount of time to grab the lobsters compared to longline fishing. So I think longline would be faster, but lobster fishing is way more enjoyable to do. And on that, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode of Fishing North Atlantic here. I hope you guys enjoyed a successful outing lobster fishing today. And uh, yeah, I got to say, it was really enjoyable. We'll probably have one more episode of lobster fishing. Um, maybe not, though. I'm not really sure. I think the next boat is about six million I need for crab fishing, uh, which sounds fun. And then we get into the absolutely massive vessels that are 15 to 20 million. So, yeah, still a lot to do on the North Atlantic. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.